Well, this morning, what, what we want to do is to announce the program, uh, misdemeanor diversion program for young adults. And as probably many of you know, uh, back in October of 2013, the City Council asked the Durham Human Relations Commission uh, to begin to look at some uh, charges and allegations that were made against the police department, racial profiling, et cetera, et cetera. And they took about six months, uh, and I thought they did a very thorough and uh, credible and commendable uh, report. And they pre presented that report back to the City Council in April of 2014. And since that time, uh, the City Council and the uh, round, table reduction, round Table for Reduction of Violence has been looking at many of those uh, programs that they suggested. And some of them uh, we have implemented, uh, some we're in the process of implementing, and others we're still considering to look at. But one of the ones that uh, was raised was a question about uh, low-level marijuana arrests, particularly as it impacted uh, young people, young adults. And we know all the issues that uh, accumulate when a young person gets involved in the criminal justice system. And it was recommended that we might want to look at a program that was already in existence for uh, diversion for young people, the one that uh, Chief, Justice, just Chief District Court Judge Marshall Maury has, has implemented and, in my opinion, has been very, very successful. Uh, the persons that are here this morning, and I, I'm going to ask each one of them to introduce themselves and uh, the organization that they represent, have been involved in an ad hoc committee looking specifically at a misdemeanor diversion program. And that's what we want to speak about this morning. And I, I'm going to be very brief in my comments beyond what I've said. But needless to say, uh, we're trying to do everything that we can to try to hopefully uh, prevent young people from getting into the criminal justice system, and particularly first, first offenders in particular. And you guys come on in. And if you don't mind, why don't you stand up here since, since all of you are part of this ad hoc committee that you're going to introduce yourselves to as, as we come in. But we, we're doing all that we can, at least in the city of Durham, to try to prevent young adults from getting into uh, the criminal justice system. And Marsha Morris, Dr. J Judge Morris' program really addressed it young people 16 years below. Uh, what you see this morning is that we're talking about young adults uh, in ages 18 through 21. So be before I begin any, any more, why don't we introduce ourselves from right to left and just say who you represent. Roger Eccles, District Attorney. I'm Goodrum Harmon, Director of the Durham County Criminal Justice Resource Center. Tom Bonfield, Durham City Manager. Lawrence Campbell, mm -hmm. Public Defender. Marsha Morey, Chief District Court Judge. Jose Lopez, Chief of Police City of Durham. Donald Ladd, Chief Deputy, representing Mike Andrews, Sheriff of Durham County. Wendell Davis, Durham County Manager. Lowell Siler, Durham County Attorney. Michael Page, Durham County Commissioner, Chair. And I know one person that's missing from the attorney is uh, our City Attorney, Patrick Baker, who's also been involved in, in this, this committee. Supreme so, Court Judge also. that's right, the Supreme Court Judge uh, Orlando Hudson has also been, a Superior Court Judge has been involved also. So I, I'm going to stop there and uh, actually turn it over to uh, Judge Moray, and I'm sure uh, Gruden will, will follow her, and then we'll have opportunity for any questions and answers that you might have. Judge Moray. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it. Welcome, everyone. Glad you're here today. Um, this is a big deal. About a year and a half ago, we started the program in Durham, which we called the Misdemeanor Diversion Program for 16-, 17-year-olds. And one reason we started this is because North Carolina has the youngest age in which a person is considered to be an adult. 16th birthday, you are an adult for any type of criminal charge. That could be littering, it could be marijuana, it could go up to felonies. So to try to look at that, how do we prevent these young people from having that first criminal charge, which can be debilitating? for a public record, if they try to get employment, if they're trying to get financial aid to go to college, even their housing can be in jeopardy if they get that first criminal charge. So after a year, we've had 116, 16, 17 year olds in this misdemeanor diversion program. All but one has been successful. We have had a 98% success rate only seven have had any new criminal charges since that time. But the most important thing is we hold them accountable. The law enforcement officers have discretion 
to send them to this program or to go ahead and make a criminal charge. The kids that have come into this have to come to a court session. They have to go to a community service agency. And within three months, we report back to law enforcement, thank you for the referral, they have been successful, the officer will not do any formal charges. It's helping save their futures. With that, and with the success we've had, with the cooperation of everyone, I mean, this is a joint effort of the city, the county, uh, it's marvelous to see everyone so involved and understanding uh, we want to save these kids, Durham's youth. Now to expand it up to 21-year-old for the same criteria. It has to be a misdemeanor. Officers will have discretion. Uh, there will be exceptions. No traffic matters can be referred. No offenses involving firearms and no offenses uh, with sexual allegations. Basically, we're talking about misdemeanor marijuana. We may be talking about shoplifting, disorderly conduct, underage drinking, minor offenses that have major consequences in these kids' lives. So I'm proud to be a part of this. I really, we couldn't do it without everyone coming to the table and realizing how important it is for the youth of our city. Uh, other districts across the state are looking to expand this into their um, jurisdictions and we will offer any support because we think it's important for the future of our youth. So thank you very much. Thank you, Judge Moore. And thank I'm going to ask Gudrun Palmer if she might come up and speak a little bit about her involvement and how it fits into this program. Mayor Bell asked me to tell you a little bit about the nuts and bolts of, of this, com this new program. And um, the Criminal Justice Resource Center has been providing services to the adult um, population that is involved in the criminal justice system for many years. And one of the programs that we have recently been involved in is the misdemeanor diversion program for 16 and 17 year olds. So this new program is designed and tailored uh, around the, the 16, 17 year old program, but it is not an expansion. It is a separate program. Law enforcement will make contact uh, during an incident and then determine whether uh, this person will meet criteria for this new program. This means no prior adult criminal record, no arrests, no convictions. If the victim agrees, the law enforcement officer will um, refer the, refer the per person to the Criminal Justice Resource Center. The, the law enforcement officer will complete an incident report and turn it in at um, their agency and the person is instructed to report to the Criminal Justice Resource Center within 48 hours. The Criminal Justice Resource Center staff will conduct an interview, verify the eligibility, we will do another record check, make sure that there is no adult criminal record, and then assign this person to a diversion program. They will also be assigned to a court session. And once a month, we will have a court session specifically for this program where the, the, um, the, the participants will observe uh, a court hearing and then have a conversation with the presiding judge and court officials around the unintended consequences of an adult criminal record. The persons will have about 90 days to complete a program. We will have workshops that are tailored around the charges that brought the participants to the program. So alcohol and drug education classes, employment, workforce initiatives, mediation and conflict resolution, communication skills, a variety of workshops will be offered. Um, upon completion, we will report back to the referring law enforcement officer to say that the person has been compliant and that they have completed. If a person refuses to participate or does not complete, we will also refer back to law enforcement and then the officer will have the option of proceeding with charges. Thank you. Thank you, Gudrun. And if you notice that uh, Gudrun referenced the law enforcement quite a bit in the program, and they're very, very key because they generally are the first point of contact uh, for the young people we're talking about. So I think at this time it might be appropriate to at least have the police chief and the sheriff to indicate what they've done in terms of training their officers to be a part of this program. And I don't know, if Chief, you want to. Uh, who wants to speak first? Go ahead, Chris. Well, 
At the Durham Police Department, uh, it's been a, a week that we've already started doing online classes uh, for the officers. We've put together a program through our uh, intranet and that, that pretty much explains not only the philosophy that we have based on this program, but also the, uh, the method that, that they have to use in order to write their reports and refer individuals uh, and explains the entire program to them. Uh, the training is starting and we should have 100 percent a completion by the uh, beginning of October, the 1st of October, and we're going to move on, explain to our officers uh, what it is that the police department uh, feels in reference to the, uh, the diversion. Uh, it's been our philosophy that whatever we can do to minimize arrest, especially for individuals who make the mistake that I think everyone in this room possibly have made in their lives that could have caused them to have a negative interaction with uh, law enforcement, that in fact uh, an opportunity is given so that these individuals can redirect their lives and hopefully not have uh, any other issues uh, occur and they can move on with life. So that's basically where we're at. And Sheriff's? Mine's going to be very simple, everything he said. Um, we, we've got going on within our agency as well. Um, and I want to reiterate that point of a mistake and a path uh, or a process now um, to solve that mistake. Thank you. I don't know if anyone else wants to step up and make any comments. Uh, if you do, feel free. If, if not, then we're open for any Q&A questions.